Hello, this is Juana. Thank you for stopping by. A warm welcome to all my subscribers. And today I would love to share with you guys this journal that I've been working on for a while. I started out with this lovely applique. It's a large one and I didn't want to cut her. So I made a journal to fit her. And this thing is huge. So um, she measures 11 inches long and four and a half inches wide. She has six signatures in her. In each signature, there is nine pages. And so folded in half, it becomes 18 pages. What back and front that turns out to be 36 pages in all in each signature and um, this is her top I hope this video comes out good this is the side her papers are edged in laces and the dividers each have um, a dangle lace so um her closure is a buckle, a rhinestone buckle, and um, we'll just open her up. Oh, I forgot to tell you how wide her spine is. Her spine is um, almost three and a half inches wide. So let's finish freeing her here. We shall put this off to the side. So I'm not really sure how to do this, but anyway, let's go ahead. So I, I lined her first with a, um, with a fabric napkin let's see it ha yeah there we go i don't know if you can see it but it's one of those jackward looking fabric napkins and so i just covered her entirety in that and it was wide enough that it lapped over and it came right up to where her spine is and so, um, I need something to show you. Hmm. Anyway, she has a, a pocket here. And then this is the first, um, the divider. Um, I covered her in Neri's lace and added some flat back pearls scattered all over here's a pocket first page and the count of the pages does not include the specialty pages like the music paper and and stuff like that so she is a writing journal this would be beautiful as a wedding gift her um her pages the edges are inked and um it's an array of cream and white trims on the pages and here's a pocket let me use something to show the pockets And that's not gonna work. I should have been more prepared. Oh, wait, 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 found something. Okay, so <laughs> here's a pocket. And this is um, a paper doily and some braille paper that I etched in lace. More music paper and parchment paper. 
another doily. This is a uh, applique that I use to make a belly band. And this is the other side of that music paper with the pocket. Another pocket here. And like I said, this is a writing journal, so all the pages are blanked. Blank. This is a pocket here for tucking something in. And so here is that dangle lace. And under that is a pleated lace from my stash. This is the second signature. And again, I covered her in, in lace and adorned her with flat back beads. And uh, this is a pocket here. And this is, this one is two. One here and one here etched in lace and I used a ribbon in between. This is uh, another piece of braille paper. And some of the edges I cut with a decorative scissors and music paper with a pocket. Parchment paper with a pocket. Paper doily. That's the middle of that signature. And all the signatures are sewn, have been sewn on the sewing machine. And so they are not permanent in the, um, in the journal, I've used elastic, so if you should want to add more pages, you can certainly do that. You can just remove the, um, the signature and add your papers behind it and slip it right back in. Neri's Lace is covering this one, and it's also a pocket. This is uh, the third signature with this beautiful leaf lace here. She's covered in more of Neri's laces with flat back pearls. This is also a little pocket with a piece of um, music sheet. Neri's laces. This was a wider lace and I cut it in half and so this one it is just a, a flip up and so we continue and this was um this was a bigger lace and i just cut part of it off to use this part as the edging on this page This is a, um, a slim belly band. Pockets. And a bee, I just uh, added this um, teardrop bead with a couple of glass beads on this string here. This is the only um, signature that I have a, a string with beads hanging from. This is the other side of that um, belly band. And so forgive me if this video is all wonky, but with my little phone here, I struggle to get all of this 
and stay in frame for you to be able to admire it. And I hope this is not too boring. It's just blank pages, but I wanted to show you how many signatures it has and you know all the little all the different laces and things like that the pockets and then this um, leaf dangle trim and this here is um, has um, three pockets so we have one, two, how comes every time you're on video it wants to act, act up? <laughs> anyway, in three, and this is a little tuck spot. This is a little snippet piece. I want to say I got this from Pam's Monday Market Sale. This is another pocket here. And on the other side also. This um, this trim here I got from Ivy Ling. This is one of Neri's Laces ribbon. And I made a belly band. This here is a piece of music sheet. It's just a flip up sheet music, music sheet, however it is you say that. This is the middle of this signature with a large paper doily, a small paper doily, and one of Neri's little applique pieces. Another pocket, this side also. This um, snippet piece is also from Pam's uh, Monday Market Sale. Braille paper. This is a... Uh... Nope, that's not the one. It's just a paper doily. Oh, it's this side. Made it a, into a little tuck spot. If you hear a funny sound, that's just my little Yorkie snoring her head off behind me. This is a, um, a pocket. a music sheet and some parchment paper. No, tracing paper. I have another pocket here. Boy, me and these pockets today. And this is the one that's uh, a tuck spot. And we come to the end of this fatty. <laughs> Here's more of that lace from Ivy Ling in pocket. And I wanted to show you what, um, how I did my 
my lollipop this is how I would use it just tuck her in a pocket in your bind in your not your binder but your journal and that's it I thank you very much I hope this wasn't too painful to watch and I'll see you next time bye